Good morning, church. Uh, I look forward to this opportunity to bring you a lesson from God's Word. I'm going to begin by reading Psalm 23 for us, so uh, let's do that together. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Most of us don't know very much about shepherds. In fact, we probably don't know much about farming. I heard a story on the radio the other morning where uh, parents were concerned that their kids might think they were mistreating animals by eating meat. So they told their kids that the meat just comes from theirs. And they didn't want to explain any more than that. You just go to the store and pick it up. I remember Michelle telling a story one time too about um, a parent going on a, a field trip with their children, preschool children, and going to a farm and and um, being shocked that farms were, were so dirty and messy places. And she thought that maybe they should have been cleaner, uh, maybe more like your kitchen might be. Uh, and of course, a barn uh, isn't like that when it's filled with animals. So we have varying uh, degrees of understanding of what a shepherd's role might have been. And we've probably learned a little bit, but our Lord did call himself the good shepherd. That's recorded in John chapter 10, verse 11. We know he was one who was willing to sacrifice his life for the sheep. And that's what Jesus did. But as our shepherd, Jesus does more than that. Because he is our shepherd, this psalm promises us that we have all that we need. We have the promise of eternal life. Life in the presence of God. As children of God. The good shepherd gives so much to us. He provides rest. Rest in green pastures places of abundant peace and calm, regardless of our circumstances. Green pastures with peaceful streams. All that we need. The psalm also promises us that he renews our strength. That's an amazing promise because we know that we need renewal. We get run down. We can get overwhelmed at times. We get tired. Life can get to us. Our stress level rises and we perhaps find some things challenging. But we have this promise of a renewal that the Good Shepherd will, will give us. And the Psalm tells us also that he guides us when we listen, when we follow. His rod and his staff will comfort and guide us. We need to listen to him. In John 10, Jesus says his sheep recognize his voice and come to him. Can you hear him? Are you listening? Join him in the green pastures down by the gentle stream. Be renewed. 
By supplying our needs, the Good Shepherd is bringing glory and honor to his name. When we listen to his voice, when we trust and follow him, he will be honored. Others will see what he has done and will praise his name. Let's bring glory to God through how we live. And there's really nothing of which we need to be afraid. Our fears are barriers to accepting the love of God. Look at what Paul says in Romans chapter 8. What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares to accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one, for Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake, we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loves us. These words by Paul have so much comfort for us. They help us to understand that there's a different reality than the one that we might see day in and day out. If God is for us, it doesn't matter who might be against us. They can't win. They can't truly harm us. In fact, the psalm tells us it's like we're eating a feast in the presence of our enemies. As long as we trust and follow, nothing can separate us from the love of God. We have certain victory. You know, I'm a big sports fan, and I like watching hockey. And it's interesting when you see the end phase of a game. A team is trying to protect their one goal lead and they collapse into a defensive position. And the other team often gets an abundance of scoring chances. And you wonder, why don't you just like play like you did the rest of the game? And maybe you'll have a better opportunity for victory. But we have this fear of failure. And sometimes it controls us. So we need to remember that we have certain victory in fact, the psalm tells us our cup overflows with blessings from God. Even when things might be difficult or challenging, we know God is there for us. We know we can depend on him. Surely goodness and mercy will follow us. I love that hymn. All the days of our life. It might appear we're suffering or are challenged by life's circumstances, but these are material and temporary in nature. We have the promise of a city that cannot be shaken, a house of many rooms, a savior who waits for us to join him. And we will live in the house of the Lord forever, a place in the presence of God forever. Are you ready 
for that journey. Follow, disciple, share. Let's pray. Father God, we ask that you help us to recognize the relationship that we have with you and the meaning that it has for our life here. Help us to appreciate what you do as a good shepherd. Help us to know that we're protected, that we have all that we need, that there is a place of comfort for us in spite of whatever challenges we face. We look forward to seeing you, to worshiping you, to being in your presence. Help us to be faithful each and every day, for this is our prayer in our Lord and Savior Jesus' name. Amen.